Do you suffer from bladder control issues? Slight incontinence, maybe great incontinence. But did you know that rebounding is very effective for that? The World Health Organization a few years ago, their stats were this, that over 200 million people suffer from some form of incontinence, leaky bladder, having little accidents. And there are many reasons for that. It can be caused by pregnancy, by age, by alcohol consumption, by caffeine, and by being overweight. There are a number of the reasons that can contribute to having bladder issues and incontinence issues. Two thirds of the people who suffer from bladder issues stop traveling much at all. In fact, they try and stay indoors because they're afraid of having an accident. 64% don't talk about it. So that probably means 64% don't even bring it to their doctor and talk about it. They put up with it. They think that it's, it's natural, it's normal to happen and, and this is my lot. Well, rebounding has been found to help strengthen the bladder sphincter, which is the, the muscle at the end of the bladder, which, that's where the control is. And what happens is that it's, it's the low impact bounding that forces, puts pressure on these muscles and forces them to work again. Now it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a little bit of time, but roughly about 15 minutes rebounding a day, you will notice the difference. Now, I do say very clearly that rebounding needs to start with just one minute. When I talk about rebounding, you might wonder what I'm talking about. Rebounding is one of these, it's jump, not jumping really, it's it's bound, say, bounding on one a mini trampoline. Let me show you. Doesn't matter what age you are, you can do this. You can have a wall beside you if you need to, to hold on if you, you have difficulty with balance, or you can have a family member. You can also buy a bar. Difficulty with having a bar though is that um, as you get a little bit more um, intense on the rebounder and you're more active, you don't want to be holding on to the bar because you can dislocate, you can pull your shoulders and cause a bit of tension there. So literally, you'll start off, I have two programs at my website and this is why I say you need to start this way because I've had clients who haven't started this way and it wasn't that I encouraged them to start at all but it, I found out from them coming to, to see me that they had tried rebounding and it had been a very negative experience because they just got on it and started. They had no advice, they did too much too quick and they caused problems because they aggravated old injuries, including bladder issues. So what you want to do is you want to start literally one minute a day just with a, a walking motion. Now you can see I'm lifting my heels, I'm going from heel to foot, most of the weight is on the ball of my feet. Balls of my feet. Okay, and it's just a walking motion. And then you'll bring in a slight bounding motion. Your feet will be hip width apart or together, one or the other. But that bounding motion also then starts to, your back is slightly bent forward. <coughs> That's how you start. You get to know your rebounder. You work up from literally one minute a day to 20 minutes a day actually, but you don't even realize you're doing it. You don't even realize that extra minute going in every week. And if you do, you sort of pause it that week for as long as you need to until you're ready to move on to the next week. Slow and steady wins the race. Rebounding will improve issues like bladder control, but it has to be slowly built up. You want rebounding to be the best form of exercise that you do. Listen, rebounding can be your best friend. Exercise, our need for exercise is there. We need to be exercising every day. That is period, that is, that's full stop. We are a physical body and it needs physical motion, daily weight bearing motion. That's what you get from rebounding but it doesn't have to be to the point of killing yourself and overexerting yourself because that goes too much the other way. You're putting yourself under stress. A little bit of stress is, is good. That's what happens when you're bounding. You're forcing muscles to work for your good, but you don't have to overforce them and you don't have to overdo it. And a maximum of 20 minutes on a rebounder a day is the equivalent of an hour and more outside pounding the roads. So 20 minutes on this daily is the same as being out there running for about an hour and you get more benefits, more benefits on the rebounder.
68% more benefits according to NASA scientists. So if you're suffering from bladder issues, but you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to talk about it, but you can do something about it. And also remember, you're one of over 200 million people who are having a similar issue. It could be age related, it could be pregnancy, having had pregnancies, it could, there are many reasons for it. Overconsumption of alcohol, overconsumption of caffeine, being overweight, all contribute to bladder control. And rebounding can help you with it. Listen, like and share this video, tell your friends. You don't have to talk about bladder issues, you just have to share this video and let me talk about the bladder issues with your friends. But get yourself a rebounder. And if you have a rebounder in the house, make sure it's down and you're on it every day. Find a space in your house. You can leave it up against a wall, absolutely. But don't leave it up against the wall. Let me show you. Don't leave it like this against its legs. If you're gonna leave it up against the wall, lean it back against the wall, okay? Get on your rebounder, get rebounding. Start with one minute a day. You're not going to do this overnight. It's going to take a bit of time and it will work. It will work. Please like and share. Have a fabulous day and thanks for watching.